Why, hello everybody! It's a yeah, blah, blah, blah. it's a loyal gamer welcoming all to a brand new let's play. Yes, it is Spiral the Dragon. Oh yes, I've been waiting a very long time to let's play this game. Let me tell you. And you got owned. Oh yes. <clears throat> Oh my god, this game is so much fun. I think the beauty of this game really comes within the simplicity of it. It's really not that hard of a game. It's an easy platformer. It's easier than pretty much any Mario game that I can think of. Even if you, like, 100% it, it's like nothing. But anyway, you shall start a new game here. And commentary, as always, will be provided by a loyal gamer. So, let's try this out. In the world of dragons, one dragon, despite his smallness, was able okay, to like, overcome... Oh, oh, sorry. It's been peaceful here in the five worlds, or is it six, for a dragon's age? We now have 12,000 treasure, or is it 14,000? What about this Ganasty Ganort character? Sheep rolling around. Now I understand he's found a magic spell to turn gems into warriors for his cause. I'll take that question. Nasty Nork is a simple creature. Fibble. He has been contained in a remote world and is no threat to the Dragon Kingdom. No threat! Oh Besides, lord. He is ugly that does it! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like I've got some things to do. <clears throat> oh lord. Yeah, this game takes me way back. The adventure begins. Alright, now basically, uh, the entire uh, point of this game is to basically collect the gems and rescue the dragons. It's very easy to 100% this game, and you can count on me to do that for you. For your viewing pleasure, there will probably be lots of fail in doing this. Thank you for releasing me, Spyro. No problem. Ten dragons in the artisan world. Then find the balloonist. He'll transport you to the next world. The balloons. What about nasty balloons. Nork? Balloons. Balloonist. I'm going after you. Balloonist. Find dragons first. That's all I can tell you. Balloons. Puff the magic dragon. All right. So you can basically save like this, or you can replay the dragon if you're really bored. But I don't know why you'd want to do that. And. Shiny! Yes! Yes! Ah! Oh man, I wanted to do that for so long. Whew. Ah, so yeah, this is one out of two of my... Oh, shit. That's one out of my two out of my secret LPs that I've proposed over Facebook and Twitter, if you even bother following those. And you know what? We could easily 100% this world right now, so why don't we do that? <clears throat> And over here, you have your dragonfly named Sparks. Sparks is basically your health meter. And, uh, well, if he's gold, he's at full health. If he's blue, he's at medium health. If he's green, he's at low health. And basically, after that, you're on your own. There is no Sparks after green. And if you get hit one more time, you'll basically lose a life. Don't! Don't! Oh, I don't know where that one went. Don't! <laughs> I love these guys. Hey, get back here! Give me mom gems! Yeah! Love this game. Alright. I'll go over there in a minute, but this world is kind of... Actually, it's not really all that expansive compared to the other worlds. Oh, here, look, another dragon. Rescue Thomas! Hey, Spyro! Press the jump button twice to glide, and... And don't be afraid. Afraid? <laughs> I don't afraid of anything, Falling punk! Falling high mountain peaks, plummeting into prehistoric glaciers? Oh. oh. <laughs> Perfect. Alright, so basically, we're just gonna have nothing over here. Oh my god! This is gonna be so much fun. <laughs> Little prancing around like that. Oh look, another gem thief! Oh, damn it! Get back here! Get back here! Flame your ass! Get back here! Do! Do I missed! Do I 
finished. Ah, oh, gotta love it. Ah, barely didn't uh, get. Oh, I spoke too soon right there. Hold on. I'll meet you back at the top. All right. An easier way to do. Oh, there's two gems right here. All right. So usually a better way to do it is just to view it like this. Ah, oh, okay. And two gems. All right. Now we have to go back up here again because I think we have to get another thing. A thing. Whoop, whoop. And look down here. And there you go. Oh, apparently I missed a gem. All right. So I think that's basically it for this area. <clears throat> And we can just go back over here. Actually, there's a whole bunch of gems up there, but there's also a, quite a bit over here as well. Uh, th for the most part, this game is really easy. The only annoying level is treetops. And you'll probably see me die like 20 times in that level, because it's pretty much inevitable. Alright, Argus! Cool Flash! Do that again! The artisan's boss is through a portal in the Dragon Mouth, but you are not yet ready, Spyro. First, you must complete one of the other artisan lands. It's that easy? Alright. Okie dokie. Well, we'll just have to do that some other time. It's really funny because uh, the artisan boss um, <laughs> is actually, well, he kind of references to pot smoking, but I'll make fun of him later about that. You guys will figure out what I'm talking about. Especially for those of you who've played the game. Where's Nasty Nork? All torch. Where's Nasty Nork? Keep your horns on, Spyro! <laughs> you have much to learn first. Do you know what the dragonfly following you is doing? Um... His name is Sparks, and he's helping and protecting you. Keep an eye on him, and see what I mean. <laughs> see what I mean! <laughs> I love the dragons in this game. Alright, now, with this thing over here, you're probably wondering, well, what is that? And it won't be revealed until a later dragon will actually tell you how to do this. But, I think with this, you have to step on it like this. And... Yes! And then you have that. And this is actually the uh, Speedway, Flyway. Uh, it's a flying mini game, but in order to or not recruit all 108 stars of destiny, that's the wrong let's play. But in order to get all the gems in this game, you're gonna have to do the uh, flight things. <clears throat> and yeah, that's pretty much about it. Now we have the treasure up this hill. Ah, oh, I totally messed that up. Hold on. <laughs> Whoops! Didn't mean to do that, sheepy. Okay, there we are. And we're pretty much almost done with this world, actually. All we have to do is just go in the little labyrinth here. And here's a life! Yay! Alright. And we'll just run around here. We are almost done with 100%ing this level. <clears throat> we're so close, I can taste the pizza. Okay, so what do we have here? Yes! Are we done? No! We are not done. We are never done. I know there's a couple gems running around here somewhere, and this is where the game can get frustrating. Um, I know that there are gems somewhere around here. Somewheres. Ow! Oh. Oh! I'm always running into walls in this game. Balls to the walls. Uh, it's probably back over here. We're, we're missing, like, a gem. It's either, like, a red gem or... A couple red gems or a green gem or something. Ah! I think I know where it is. Yes! Oh, I was right. And we 100 percent at this world! Hooray! Let's check our inventory. 4 out of 4 and 100 out of 100. Freaking amazing. Alright, and we still have time to boot. So, uh, why don't we go to the first level of the game? Alright. Stone Hill, first level in this game. 
Well, if you don't count the uh, artisan world being the first level. Alright, so. Very tranquil settings. Very uh, funny enemies to go up here. Oh yeah, shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. That's all I care about is my shinies. Shinies! Ah, where's that ram? Ugh! Get my horns! Ah! Bam, son! Ugh! <laughs> Love doing that. Alright, so we got sheep frolicking about. Frolicking a boot. And we have lots of treasure over here! Yeah, this, uh, in this world, they basically give you all the treasure, uh, to you. So it's really not that big of a deal. <coughs> oh! One gem over there, but we'll rescue Lindar first. When you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Yeah, so basically the tip is, <clears throat> with that, and we'll collect this one, if you basically step up like that, and if the platform it gets highlighted, I think it'll all save your progress. You don't even have to manually save, but it's always good that you manually save every once in a while. Alright, there's actually a little area down inside of that well. <coughs> Sorry there, but we we'll, won't get into that until much later. Yeah, this level's pretty easy. And we get another life! There we go! Alright. Now we'll rescue your ass. And we're already at the end of the level, look at that! After you freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex thingamaj. Really? It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! <laughs> okay. Oh lord. Uh, okay. So yeah, you can basically go up there to uh, basically end the level, but as you can see from the swirling mist, we actually have a little area down here. And it's very easy to miss. So... We got lots of jewelry down here. And we have... Whoop! A key. Uh, this key will basically unlock chests with more gems inside them. Go figure. So we'll just go on ahead and go up on this little mist, which will carry us up and back where we started. But this level is actually very expansive. Like, there's this whole, like, level, like, back here. And it even expands even more once we fly around on the border. Urgh. Ugh. Alright. Ugh. Alright. Now, basically, you have these Gandalf-like people. Gandalf! And you can either charge them or flame them. Oh, that was close, man. He almost had my ass beat. But, yeah. Awesome two-for-one special right there. Alright, so basically you go up on top of here. And you have another dragon! Spyro, my friend! No! A hint on gliding. Shut up! You bet! For the longest glide, press the X button at the top of a jump. And try pressing the triangle. Hup, 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 a derp. Derp. Pretty much. Alright. So we got more gems on top of here. And let's see, what do we have? Oh, we have more gems right over here. Yeah, just pull back while gliding, and you'll actually slow down. It's actually a very useful trick. And you can't go f too far out, or else you'll get a force field uh, owning you and saying, fuck you, go back. <clears throat> oh man, we're on a roll today, I'll tell you what. You know what? It's almost getting ready to be 15 minutes here, so uh, we'll... I guess we'll kind of just end the episode here. So this is a loyal gamer signing out. And there's an egg thief! 
There's an egg thief. Oh man, an egg thief. Oh, he already got a head start. What the hell? Look at him. Okay, well, I'll see you guys next time. Later, people.